Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd film a what's in my bag video because I've been watching a lot of those and I thought maybe you guys would like to see what's in mine because I like to see what's in yours. That sounds a little bit creepy, but we're going to keep going anyway. Um, so this is my bag. It is a red Cole Haan bag that I got for Christmas last year, I believe. I love it. It's gorgeous. Look at the color. It's so pretty. It's really heavy. And it's big and it's structured, but it's kind of slouchy, and I love it. Um, I don't know, I just, I really love it. I wasn't carrying it for a long time, and then my other bags broke because I need some other bags, and I like it. It is a little bit pricey, Kohan. I think this purse was $3.49, I want to say, but they opened up a Kohan at the outlet mall that is near my house, and we had some coupons, and so it ended up only being like 176, so coupons are amazing. So before I ramble on about how amazing coupons are, let's just jump into the bag. Okay, so here's the inside of my bag. Um, it's a mess. I didn't try to clean it out and make it pretty and presentable because that's not a true what's in my bag. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And because I have a son, you might, we might find some interesting things in here, maybe. I might have cleaned this out recently, so I might have taken out any of his weird things, but we'll find out. Um, so this is just a kind of clasp close. It's not a magnetic one. You just feed it through the hole and lock it down that way. Um, so this is basically an open bag, which is not my favorite form, but I really like this bag, so I got it anyway. So I'm going to set it right here because I don't know where set it is heavy. The first thing are my headphones. Whew. Okay, sorry. I don't know what that was. It was like a burp and a cough that got stuck together. That's gross. I'm sorry. Um, these are my headphones. They are Skull Candy headphones. They're, um, they're just nice headphones. I actually picked these up at Ross because I am terrible with headphones. Like, I want to be the kind of person that takes care of your headphones and I want to be able to buy, you know, some Beats by Dre's or something. But I'm not going to spend that much money because I know that I break them. My dogs get a hold of them, chew them up. I'm surprised these have lasted as long as they have. Um, but they work really well. So I, I picked them up at Ross for 16 bucks. These are originally like 30 or $40 pair of headphones by Skull Candy. They work amazing. And I got them for 16 bucks at Ross. So that's something to think about. If you're the kind of person that goes through headphones the way that I do, then get cheap ones because then you won't feel so bad. Next is my wallet that I picked up at TJ Maxx like a long time ago and it used to be really pretty and gold and sparkly and it is but all the sequins along the edges right here they're gone they're in the bottom of other persons on clothes they're just gone um, but that's the inside of my wallet some receipts some other stuff and call it cards IDs stuff like that um, and we're just pulling all this out of the main pocket of the purse which is pretty deep um, next is, is my journal. I didn't know which way it was supposed to go. Um, this is just a journal that I got a few years ago that I'm the kind of person that likes to write things down. Um, just whatever I'm feeling with my feelings, whatever, um, lists I need to write. I love writing lists. Lists, right, like people, people doodle, they doodle hearts and shapes and people and they have their own doodle. I write, I write my name, I write my family's name, I write my friend's names, I write what I'm feeling, I write lists, I write numbers, I write, I just, I write. And I don't know what it is, but that's what I like to do. So this is the book where if I'm thinking about what kind of YouTube videos I want to film or what I need to pick up for groceries or something that my son needs or just anything that's on my mind, it goes on in this book. So I keep it in my purse. Um, it's really big and like bulky, but I like that because I write big and bulky. So I need something that's big and bulky. The next thing is this piece of paper for letting us know that it is fall break next week. So it's fall break. Thank you, Jackson School. And I've got trash, receipts that can go in the trash right here, actually. This is actually really nice because I get to clean out my purse and show you what's inside at the same time. Um, what's this? This looks like instructions from a toy that my son got for his birthday. 
because his birthday was on 9-11, I got instructions for the toy that he got because I opened it up. I've got a toothbrush because... Oh, I know why this was in here. I put this in there because I was exfoliating my lips the other day and I was on the go, so I was doing it while I was on the go. Put a little bit of chapstick or lip balm or Vaseline on your lips and take a toothbrush with you. It plumps them and it exfoliates them. So tip, tip on the Saturday. Another thing that's in the bottom of my purse is my MAC, not, uh, uh, my MAC, mineral, mineralized skin finish in dark but I think dark is too light for me I need to get it in deep dark so there's that I'm not sure what I'm carrying around here's my keys before you judge me on my keys let me just say that I have not necessarily that many keys on my key ring in fact I've got one three four I've got five keys on my key ring the reason this looks ridiculous is because it's got the key flop for my car it's got 57 million of these little card swipers for every store that I ever have gone into in my whole entire life and it also has the lock for my locker when I go to the gym are you asking me why would you put that on your key ring that's not good for your car because my car key is at the other end of my lanyard right here so this just kind of sits in the cup holder like that and my only my ignition key goes and to the ignition. So there's that. Um, this is in here. This is a little wallet um, coin purse that my mom brought back to me in like 2008, I want to say, from a cruise that she and the rest of my family went on without me because I couldn't get off of school and they didn't take me with them and I was real pissed off about it, but I'm over it. A little bit. Not really. Um, but I keep spare change in there, which there's none, because I have tried to stick to a new plan where I'm going to save all my change. And I've got one of those like three gallon water jugs that go inside of a water cooler in my room. And any spare change that I see on the floor, in the house, just anywhere, in the, anywhere, spare change that I accumulate through the week, I take it out of my purse and I put it in there. I'm going to fill it up. You never know how much money you can accumulate in those things. Like, I had a friend, or my sister's friend, who painted the whole inside of her house because she had one of those five gallon things filled up with change that she got changed out. And it was like something like five or six hundred dollars in there. Because, and she like painted the whole inside of her house with it when she bought her first house. So, think about that. You guys should probably do it because I do it and. I've got the bottom of my thing covered. <laughs> okay. But anyway, and on the other inside of this is all my other gift cards, um, membership cards, insurance cards, uh, basically all the big versions of everything that's on the key. So whenever I don't want to, I don't, I don't, don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason. Here's another receipt and a movie ticket for Guardians of the Galaxy, which I saw twice. I saw one with my friend, and then I took my son to see it on his birthday, and it was amazing, and that's what that ticket stuff was for, was from his birthday. And, ooh, change. I've got change. Change to put into my change bucket. And I've got an empty MAC eyeshadow pot. I don't know. Um, let's see, what's in the zipper? I have got three tampons for whenever our least favorite Aunt Flo comes to town. You gotta be prepared. And I found some more change, so that's going on the counter so I can put it in my bucket. And that is just in the little zippy pocket over here. And then in the final pocket, on this side, is where I keep my cell phone, um, usually a pen or any just small makeup items or anything like that. So I've got a highlighter. And I have got a bottle of Hawaiian Punch water enhancer stuff. This does not taste good, but my son likes it. I had originally bought it for me when we were doing a water challenge at work just to help me drink some more water, but it's gross, but my son likes it. So that's why I have it in my purse because I brought it home for him. I've got a little travel mirror from Blue Cross Blue Shield. No idea where that came from. 
and I've got a hand sanitizer. Funny story about this though. I got this a couple like a month ago because I went to my doctor's office for a checkup um, and they had them out for free. And I thought they were breath fresheners because they kind of look I've never seen a hand sanitizer one in a spray for free and two that looks like this but I don't know what I don't know why I immediately thought it was breath freshener so I picked one up and as I was waiting for the doctor to come take me back I was like oh I wonder what this tastes like sprayed it it was disgusting and I was like oh oh god side note though I was totally in there by myself which was a good thing because I would have been really embarrassed if there had been other people in there so I'm trying to figure out why this tastes like alcohol and disgusting and then I flip it on the back and really small on the back of this says antibacterial hand sanitizer and it's sprayed into my mouth so that happened so that's nice name. Here's a receipt from probably that doctor's appointment when I sprayed my mouth with hand sanitizer. And another ticket stub, probably Jackson's from the movie. And some more change. This is nice. I like this. And then in my final pocket is all lip products. Um, I used to keep, oops, I used to keep um, a whole makeup bag. It was a little leopard print one. It was, in fact this one. I used to keep this in my purse, but then one day I realized that all it was full of was not, not multiple makeup items of different like parts of the face. It was all, everything inside of it was lip products. I don't know why. I don't know why I hoard them. Like why do I have a lip, a lip pencil, a lip gloss, a lip stain, a, excuse me and another lip gloss. I don't know why I have them. This doesn't make any sense to me. It's really weird. I don't even know. So that is why I don't carry that anymore because I don't need to carry a giant bag that's going to weigh down my purse even more because I already have a million things in it and making it heavier when I could just carry a couple of things. So that is the end of the bag. The bag is now clean and empty. Aside from about 57 pieces of sequin from my wallet. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was really random and full of energy because I don't know where all this energy came from. But I hope that you liked it and I will talk to you soon. Leave comments down below for videos that you want to see in the future and I will talk to you soon. Bye!